hello students in today's lecture we will see a problem based on newton raphson method a problem is use newton raphson method to find a real root of x sin x plus cos x equal to 0 near x is equal to pi carry out the iteration up to four decimal places of accuracy see here you can see here x is equal to pi they have given so if they have given like that value so no need of checking uh, the roots here so where the given equation root is lying here means this is the x naught value so solution so the given equation will consider f of x is equal to x sin x plus cos x and also given x value means x naught value initial value of x x naught value they have given in the question itself so this is the function f of x and this is the x naught value and to apply the newton raphson method we needed f dash of x so f dash of x we need to find so f dash of x is equal to so x sin x means differentiate the right hand side with respect to x means we need to apply product formula so we will keep x as it is differentiation of sin x is cos x plus keep sin x as it is differentiation of x is 1 leave it then plus differentiation of cos x is what here minus sin x so you can see here so plus sin x minus sin x cancels so our f dash of x will remain only what here x cos x so with the help of this we need to go for a formula for newton raphson method of first approximation so by newton raphson's method the first approximation is x1 is equal to x0 minus f of x0 divided by f dash of x0 so this is the formula here we need to apply what here the value of x0 so x0 in the given question we have given pi symbolically so we'll take that only Do, don't take any other value of pi that is pi minus f of pi divided by f dash of pi so which is nothing but uh, just i will uh, write for the first step that is pi is equal to as per the function f of x so x will be replaced by pi so pi sine pi plus cos pi it will become so it will become out here pi sine pi plus cos pi and as per the f dash of x what differentiation we got it is pi cos of pi it is just uh, i have written here but i will uh, take the help of calculator for this calculation so i will prepare a formula in terms of x so in place of x i will write uh, in place of pi i will write x here that is alpha x minus division bracket so alpha x sin x alpha x close the bracket plus cos of alpha x close the bracket divided by just see the you have closed the bracket properly otherwise it will show syntax error then divided by put a bracket so again alpha x cos alpha x bracket close and one more bracket and see that the mode of the calculator so you can see here mode of the calculator it is r so mode of the calculator is supposed to be out here r it should not be in, in it, it should be in a radian not in the form of degree d it should be r here so once you prepare go for calc option so it will ask the value of x so value of x is uh, x naught is what here initially we have pi so we'll uh, enter in the calculator using this pi only you go for shift to enter the value of pi you go for shift and you can see here 
10 raised to so press this 10 so you can find a symbol uh, pi in the calculator and press equal to sign and you can see the answer here 2.8232 so on so they have set up to four decimal place i will round up as 2.8233 so 8 will add here so 2.8283 uh, uh, 2.8233 so x1 value is 2.8233 so first approximation we got it so we'll go for the second approximation the second approximation is x2 is equal to directly value will take that is 2.8233 that is x1 value we have to add here and uh, we have to enter so minus f of 2.8233 divided by f dash of 2.8233 okay so instead of writing the formula in this way just i have entered the value of previous what we got so then this 2.8233 will apply in the formula what we have already entered in the calculator so x value is 2.8233 and see the answer here so it is we getting 2.7986 so x2 value how much we got here so x2 is equal to 2.7986 so we got x1 x2 but there is a lot of difference between x1 and x2 so we need to again uh, go for a uh, few more iterations to get a accurate result here so let's see what is the next iteration the third approximation is that is x3 is equal to the previous value of x2 that is 2.7986 minus f of 2.7986 divided by f dash of 2.7986 so this value will use the help of calculator and will enter So go for calc option. So 2.7986 and we'll see what is the approximate result. So 2.7984 I will take. We came to nearer value here. 2.7984. So still not satisfied with X3. We need to go for one more iteration. Because we got previously 86 and just now we got a... Uh, 84 so still we have to go one more iteration so that we can uh, conclude it so therefore the fourth approximation is x4 is equal to 2.7984 minus f of 2.7984 divided by f dash of 2.7984 so we'll check this value in the calculator now so calc option so 2.7984 and we'll see what is the answer so you can see here so on the result we got here 2.7983 something so it is nothing but 2.7984 if you round up the fourth place so we got 2.7984 again so x3 approximation and x4 approximation both are same you can see here both approximations are same so thus the required approxy the required approximate root correct to 4 
decimal place is 2.7984. So in this way we need to simplify a problem based on this new Newton Raphson method under this numerical methods.